Uh, hello traders, uh, this is the 12th of April uh, 2010 and this is the second part of the video um, how to locate uh, uh, supply and demand levels like professional traders, okay? And I hope you enjoy the first part of uh, my uh, video uh, and this is the second part, okay? So, in the first part of the video, how to locate uh, um, supply and demand levels, uh, I was using the 4 hours chart of the Euro USD. Now, I switch back to the hourly chart of the Euro USD because uh, this principle of uh, supply and demand level is valid in every time frame. Very important, it's valid in every time time frame okay how you locate the areas of supply or distribution or the areas of demand or accumulation is valid in every time frame from the monthly weekly daily hourly four hours up to the five minute chart that's why the pattern of double top double bottom triple top triple bottom head and shoulder all these patterns are valid in the intraday chart okay because of the the rules of the supply and the demand okay when we have more supplies it means that we have more sellers okay so when we have more uh, we have more demand we also have more accumulation so we have more bias okay so when we want to buy okay we want to buy in the areas where the probability for the, 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 the traders at that level to be a bias is very high, okay? So when we want to sell also, we want to sell together with other sellers, okay? High probability areas where the, the sellers are likely to gather, okay? Something that will attract them, okay? Something that will make them, that, that will generate interest in them to sell at that particular point. But when you are selling, this is very very important because people usually who are doing a swing trading will go and sell a company uh, just because of the chart pattern do not do that when you're going to sell or short a company you need to check also the fundamental okay because you're going to do it for many days maybe five days maybe seven days but uh, if the company it's a quite solid company like Apple this period doing an uh, excellent product and because you see on Apple double top or triple top and you start selling you just you just going to waste your time because the product coming out of that company at this particular time is quite strong and and generate a lot of interest for people to buy from Apple so you need to check first the fundamental of the company one of the tricks that uh, I can advise you to do uh, I mean this is not uh, this video is not to give any advice it's only for educational even though I use the word advice here but uh, this video is only for educational purpose my personal method if you're going to short the stock for many days you need to check first okay the the net asset of the company okay how much the company own how much the company owe to their creditors in the short term okay and also how much they got on their balance sheet okay if a company got a balance sheet uh, of uh, whatever uh, one thousand dollar okay and it got a short-term debt a short-term debt which they need to pay within this year of eight hundred dollar so a balance sheet uh, showing one thousand dollar and a short-term debt showing eight hundred uh, dollar they, they can they can move on they can move on they are squeezed they are squeezed you have to show those those uh, company that's why you do the net asset okay and you calculate that to see whether the short-term debt that the company owe to their creditor is uh, a heavy weight on them or not okay if it's a heavy weight on them and also they are struggling with their product or a heavy competition is coming in their zone they are not going to survive okay those are the things you look for when you're going to short a company for maybe uh, five days or maybe ten days even a month and some people short for month okay because they have a valid fundamental reason to do that but 
when we are doing day trading, we are only looking for areas of supply to sell and areas of demand to buy, okay? So when we see a double top here, we know that double top is a zone of supply, okay? So you don't just jump there and try to buy. If you're going to buy at a level of double top, you need to check carefully, okay? That's why I like this pattern of double top because the price came to the same level, return back, and, and there are still sellers there, so I participate, I join them before the party is over. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I say to you, the patterns are the key element. So we did the same thing on the 4-hour chart. Now we, are, we, are, we have now the hourly chart, and the same thing is valid. You can do it on the hourly chart, you can do it on the 5 minutes also, okay? You can do it entire for here, the same level, double top, okay? Then it's broken, boom, down, okay? So this is the key element, the supply, okay? And the demand, the accumulation and the distribution. This is pattern here, this is a head and shoulder here, you see? And the price, after I break it, it went down, okay? Because when you see the head and shoulder, what is happening, okay? The price did this uh, top here, this high here, did a higher high here, only to fail all the way down here, and when he tried to make another higher high, he couldn't, he couldn't, he couldn't, he failed to reach the same level. So now we don't have a higher high, we have a lower high. After having a high, a higher high, now we have a lower high. What is he telling us? He's telling us there is, the, there is a chance that this, the, 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 this is a zone of supply. This is a, a heavy zone of supply, okay? You don't dare to buy here, okay? Unless you have uh, some excellent earnings coming out, okay? Excellent new product coming out, okay? These are the time you're going to dare to buy in this zone, okay? So when you want to buy, try to find areas where there is more interest. Also, if the company is coming with a new product, excellent product, or the company have a monopoly, dominant, okay? And their balance sheet is quite strong compared to their short-term uh, 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 debt, okay? So those are the key elements you check when you're going to, to, to sell or buy. So this is a zone of demand okay the price came here when a bit up okay people push it back quickly the buy jump the buyers jump on it overwhelm the seller this resistance level here is broken the price just jump when most of look at this this is excellent move here this is beautiful bullish momentum here look from here to here this one two three four five six seven eight nine hours nine hours we didn't have any any red candle at all no bear there to spoil the party for the bulls here these are the areas where you want to come into the market and buy so you can do this on the five minutes on the three minutes on the hourly chart on the four hour chart on the daily chart on the weekly chart looking for areas of supply and demand double top double bottom triple top triple bottom chart patterns these are the key elements that we move the market i hope you enjoyed this video and you learn something from this, very important things, okay? The supply and the demand are the elements that are moving them. Every condition, okay? In every condition, these are the things the professional are looking for day in, day out, okay? Do we have a supply? Do we have a demand, okay? How much demand do we have? How much supply do we have? How much interest do we have at this level to sell? If, they, if, if, if we can find out that this zone is a hot zone for the bull, we won't dare to sell there. If we know that this zone is a hot zone for the bear, you won't, you won't buy there. Like here, you see? Here and here. You, you buy here, you are just wasting your time. Look, you just look. Here also, look at this. All oh, red, 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 down. Okay? So we want to join the party of the bull when the bull are dominant and join the party of the bear when the bear are dominant okay so till next time enjoy yourself and be very very happy thank you